All right, here we go. We're going to do a slide of a triangle that looks a lot like that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, how are we going to slide it? Which direction and by how much? Kathleen? Negative seven, six. And to the up. So we're going to slide by negative seven comma six. Fair enough? Yep. Okay, now sixes. You would have had this instead of saying negative seven six, you would have had it saying uh, left seven uh, and sorry, I'm not, left se uh, seven and up six. Okay, so sevens, sixes. Cool? All right, now what you're going to do is you're going to pick a point. What's your point? My point I'm going to start with is this one right here, just for kicks. And let's switch to red. We're going to go left seven. So I'm just going to start here and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to put a dot there. I'm then going to go to my next spot. And I'm going to go seven to the left. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. My third dot, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have now taken care of the minus seven or the left seven. I'm not done yet because I've got this other part that I've got to do still. Okay? So I'm going to take this and I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. This one, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, there are shortcuts to doing that. I could, for example, do both of the lefting and the upping all at once. I, instead of having this intermediary step, I could just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. Okay? And that is perfectly legitimate. Um, that's, in many ways, that's the easiest way to go. Uh, just seven and six. Now, I would recommend that you check it. And way of checking it is by going backwards. Start with up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If it checks out, you're probably okay. Another way to do this really quickly and easily is for you to pick that one point, and this is easiest with slides. Pick your one point, maybe it's this one, and move that to where it has to be. And then you know that this point is two to the top, so I go one, two. This one is two to the right, so I go one, two, and I just draw my shape without having to move each point individually. Cool? The other way of doing this that I talked about last week is when you already have the coordinates. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this point here is six comma four. Okay, right there. And one way for you to figure this out, if you have the original coordinates and you have the slide that you're supposed to do, what you do is basically add them together. So six comma four, you add to it negative seven comma six. So this is your slide. What's four plus six? That's an easy one. 10. So you know that your Y coordinate is going to be 10. Your X coordinate, six plus negative seven is negative one. Final is negative one and ten. So instead of having to do da 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 da, you just go to negative one and then two, four, six, eight, ten. So this point becomes here, and you build your shape in the new location. 